Hello my beautiful watchers, welcome back to Lion Gates Heart Tarot, this is Lauren, this is your weekend read. Please only take what resonates as per usual, if this isn't your read, check out your sun, moon, rising signs by clicking videos, they're all coming out this week, um, they've already begun, so just see if it's there and if not it'll be out by Sunday. So, and if you see a message on a 48 hourly read or a title even, that speaks to your soul, then it's meant for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a major arcana and then we're going to get some beautiful oracle cards and conclude with a tarot deck. If this isn't your read, don't try and claim it. This is a free channel, please note. Um, I appreciate the cups of tea, it's very, very kind of you, but it is a free channel. Um, don't feel you need the need to, just uh, Thumbs up, like, subscribe goes a long way. It's a beautiful exchange of energy. So, the major card. So, Angel Spirit, guys, the major energy for this read, please. Thank you. What do we have? Do, do, do. The Fool. New beginnings, leap of faith. The bag he carries represents both lessons, positive and negative, upon his quest. And as you can see, it's very small. He's done a lot of shedding during his journey. Right. Let's get one of these then. New begins. Oh, ooh, we'll get two then. Or three even. So, unity. A time of divine understanding, renewal, peace and hope. You radiate and attract great love. Eagle. You will soar towards destiny with greater clarity and strength. And Phoenix. Be prepared to be renewed after a period of crisis. That's the new beginning, guys. As if by magic, eh? And one of these, please, Angel Spirit Guys, one of these. Thank you so much. Play, have fun, celebrate, don't be too serious. This is divine balance. You need to have fun as well as concentration. It's a beautiful balance of life. It's the dance of life. Wow. Butterfly, rebirth. Thank you, Angel Spirit Guides. You can reinvent yourself. Open to the rewards of change. You have brilliance to share with the world. Love every part of your journey. It's all about the journey. And look what was on the bottom of that one, the fool again. This is all about your spiritual journey. This is all about your journey in life. So let's get some clarifiers, angel spirit guys. Could we clarify the full energy, please, with the tarot? The full energy with the tarot. How are we here? Thank you. Be eager and proud about the venture moving forward. The world, the acceptance of you, the seven of wands and the lovers. Lovely. Unity, eagle, phoenix and angels. Spirit guides, unity, eagle and phoenix. Thank you. Energetic worker going on right there. Movement forward, journeying. What else? Thank you so much. Communication coming forth. It could be from the past or somebody from the past. Knight of Swords type energy. Play. Again, we've got movement with a cup of love or towards something you love. Let's get some more info, angels. More info, please. Thanks. The King of Swords and the Two of Swords. Thank you. Butterfly Rebirth. Thank you. Queen of Wands. Queen of Creation, there she is. You know, Eight of Pentacles in Reverse. Five of Swords. Justice and the Page of Wands. And at the bottom, you have the Tower energy. This is the breaking down of the old. The Tower basically is to break through any blockages and inhibitions, making room for new growth. So this is why the Phoenix is rising and the Fool is beginning again, because this new growth is a new you. It's a new state of being. It's a new frequency of energy. So my beautiful watchers, if you would be so bold to take a seat, grab your cup of tea, we shall begin. 
Right, my beautiful watchers, this could be a new job, for example, because we've got the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. So you're creating a new frequency around you. Perhaps you're journeying for a new job. Perhaps it's just the journey of life. So what we'll do is we'll get into it. We're ha we have the full energy as the overall energy for the whole read, okay? So <clears throat> as I've said, the full carries the bag, both positive and negative. These are basically lessons and blessings from the past. So it's very, very small. He's shed a lot and he's starting a new frequency of energy because zero is the number of enlightenment. So he's taking a leap of faith into the unknown, following that intuition, you know, journeying. And it's quite exciting, although sometimes it's forced because we obviously have the tower on the bottom. So what it's saying here with the page of swords is you should be eager and proud about the adventure moving forward. You've completed this cycle. The world is the completion of the fool's journey. And so this journey can begin again, but in a new frequency of self. And when that begins again, it's, you know, the secrets of the universe here with the world. It's it's that success. It's full integration of you and it's acceptance of you and your full self without apology, which is really hard to do in the three dimensional existence. And, you know, it takes a lot of work, a lot of inner work to actually do that job and journey forward and be open, be true, be you. It's like being naked and proud in public, that type of energy. And you're journeying forward in a new frequency of self, which is absolutely amazing. Now we have the seven of wands that talks about about the self-confidence you need and this is the defense almost it's like you can block negativity now and you couldn't do that before but that's what it's saying you've completed this cycle within your midst which is enabling you to have this new frequency of energy and we have the lovers now to meet other people you share joy and happiness absolutely the lovers could be a decisive point has been met and this is why you're taking this leap of faith during this time now we have Unity. A time of divine understanding, renewal, peace and hope. You radiate and attract great love. So this is a love frequency. You're serving from your heart energy. Eagle, you will soar towards your destiny with greater clarity and strength. And Phoenix, be prepared to be renewed after a period of crisis. So I believe it could be a job loss here and you're journeying forward to a new frequency of energy because we have the Knight of Wands which is that energetic worker you need courage and you need this movement forward and be optimistic and about the be optimistic about the journey forward and believe in you okay it's the brilliance of such now you're going to have communication come in or you've got a swift change happening this is speed it's action and it's news flowing into you here now this could be via text message via email um something somebody or something you love there's obviously a message because you've got the eagle which which enables you to journey forward with strength and courage um and explore basically so this is communication coming forth now it could be somebody from the past with the six of cups um this is often nostalgia and it's childhood memories happy memories and it's with a knight of swords and when i say the knight of swords they're quite a knight of swords is very good with business so if it's business this can be also a boss energy um or somebody telling you something he's very analytical is the knight of swords he's a warrior his courage um and also he rushes in i know he's on the he's on the camel in the old tarot which is quite amusing because he's the fastest knight but this news rushes into you you're going to have some news come to you the knight of wands is the energetic worker you're going to have to switch your frequency for this new beginning and that's what i believe here because these all run beautifully so the knight of swords is that communication coming into you all right so you've got communication communication and this is clarity um it's just saying that you need that bravery during this time and it's taking that leap of faith in the universal energies because the knight of swords is extremely brave now we have play have fun celebrate don't be so serious this is divine balance guys and it is so very important if you do not have divine balance in your universe and that play time and that sense of freedom then you know you can be it can manifest into something negative so you need to let go and be free now and again it is so very important for divine balance so as you can see she's that in a cocktail glass just loving life and if that's what floats your boat go for it dancing exercise is the 
highest vibration. It really, really is. And it's that sense of freedom. And when you release yourself from the bind of everyday life, it allows you to sit in a higher state of being with your higher self and your higher state of consciousness. Even when you're dancing and singing around the kitchen, that is a higher state of consciousness. You're tuned into a higher frequency. And once you're naturally lifted to that higher frequency, it enables you to move forward. Now we have the Knight of Cups. He holds a cup of love movement forward again. So it's telling you to move forward with this cup of love. So he can be very... It's just sort of like that encouragement, actually. It's that encouragement to move forward and communicate wisely. Now, the King of Swords is the King of Communication. He's analytical, as I said. He is clear. He is rational. He's the authority and power in a situation. You've got a decision to make here with the Two of Swords. The Two of Swords is that balance you want. It's also the mediation stage. So if you're going to have this news come into you, you're going to have to decide and that's what I believe there is a new frequency and it's going to come into you really really fast and you're like what shall I do you need to make a decision and you need to make a decision quick for this new beginning to come into fruition and then you have the butterfly it's a rebirth of self when the butterfly comes in this is very significant for this read this is a rebirth of you you know you've been cocooned for so long and what it's saying is you're being released from a period of crisis and you're birthing like the beautiful butterfly you you can reinvent yourself, open to the rewards of change. You have brilliance to share with the world, love every part of your journey. And this is something you have manifested here with the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is the Queen of Manifestation. If you literally give her eggs, she will make you an omelette. She's honest, she's quite, she's that intention, that inspiration that you need moving forward and she creates the reality. So you give her you give her any ingredients, she will cook it. And what it's saying is you've moved forward with it. Now we have the eight of pentacles in reverse, which can talk about exhaustion. This can also talk about, you know, you leaving a job for a new career. Um, so if this is a new, complete new avenue of that of your world with taking a leap of faith, then the Eight of Pentacles can talk about you taking this leap of faith to a new frequency, probably something you haven't done before. So, you know, it can be a bit nerve wracking, right? You're going forward blindfolded, um, but you are escaping like the drama. That's what I feel here. And this is because you've created this new world and this is bringing this justice. When justice prevails and you're escaping this, you're going forward by blindfolded. I can see that. But justice is prevailing for you. Justice comes in when the universal balance comes into play, which is what this is here. And it's the fair and balanced opinions towards peoples and situations around you. It's the rise and fall of karma. Justice prevails. It's reaping the fruits of the labour and towards the destiny you are working upon. Now, what it says here is the page of ones is pointing. Where is he pointing? The spirit guide, you can see. He's pointing forward. You need to be aware of something. And the page of ones is very loyal. Um, it's that commitment you need to make to this situation and in this new frequency of energy. Because don't forget, on here, we had the tower. And on the bottom of this one, we also had the full, which is that new beginning. It's to see the world through the innocent eyes of a child when the tower comes in this is you know breaking down of the old it's to remove and break through any blockages that you may have for new growth and this new growth needs to prevail you've completed one cycle and you're starting a new cycle now and that's what it's saying here you need to spread your wings like the butterfly and know who you are probably you're doing far too much and this is what this eight of pentacles is in reverse and you're moving forward blindfolded but justice is about to prevail and the page of ones brings that message all right it's that it's that message of support that you need during this time. And that's what I believe here. And it's also that commitment to something. You need to commit and move forward and journey forward. So there you go, my beautiful watchers. That is your weekend read. My goodness, if you got it going on, take the leap. Because it's going to be very, very beautiful for you. So if you've been wondering, do you take the leap? Absolutely take the leap. Because taking the leap in the unknown is often your biggest growth cycle. And it's when we have put out of our comfort zone, guys, it's our biggest growth cycle. Also, it's following our intuition and it takes it to a higher state of frequency. And that's what you want because you create your own reality, right? So absolutely move forward boldly and have the courage here 
have the courage to journey forth so there you go my beautiful watchers if this resonated with your heart give me a thumbs up they're completely private if this is yours let me know below and leave me a message i love talking to you and connecting with your energy it's, it's a beautiful exchange of energy don't forget to like subscribe um, and ring the notification bell all your star signs are coming out so when you do you will be notified so love and light to you until next time from my heart to yours bye bye for now